Imagine if you could send a message from beyond our solar system. What would you say? How would you make sure it gets delivered? The thought itself is fascinating, isn't it? This is the reality of long-distance space communication, a concept that has intrigued scientists and space enthusiasts for decades. In the midst of this cosmic conversation, there exists a remarkable spacecraft called Voyager 1. Launched in the late 70s, Voyager 1 has been on an interstellar journey, sending us invaluable data along the way. It's like a cosmic postman, delivering messages from the farthest corners of our universe. Its journey has not been without challenges. There have been periods of silence, leading us to wonder if our space-bound emissary had finally run its course. But time and again, Voyager 1 has surprised us, overcoming obstacles and continuing its mission. So, what if I told you that Voyager 1, a spacecraft launched in 1977, is still sending us messages from deep space? Let's go back in time to September 5th, 1977. This was the day when Voyager 1 embarked on its journey. Picture this. The year is 1977. The Beatles have disbanded, disco is on the rise, and in the world of space exploration, NASA is about to make history with the launch of Voyager 1. The spacecraft's mission? To conduct close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn, Saturn's rings, and the larger moons of the two planets. As Voyager 1 soared through space, it began to reveal secrets of our solar system. In March of 1979, it performed a flyby of Jupiter, capturing astonishing images of the gas giant and its moons. It discovered active volcanoes on Io, Jupiter's moon, a first in space exploration. Next on the itinerary was Saturn. In November of 1980, Voyager 1 swung by Saturn, providing us with breathtaking images of its intricate ring system. And let's not forget its moon, Titan. Voyager 1's flyby of Titan offered us a glimpse of its dense, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. But Voyager 1 wasn't done yet. Having completed its primary mission, the spacecraft was on to bigger and better things. It was tasked with the interstellar mission, an objective to extend NASA's exploration of the solar system beyond the outer planets to the outer limits of the Sun's sphere of influence. In August of 1992, Voyager 1 crossed the orbit of Neptune, marking its exit from the realm of the planets. Six years later, it made one of its most significant contributions. It captured the iconic pale blue dot image, showing Earth as a tiny speck in the vast expanse of space. In the year 2012, Voyager 1 made the leap into interstellar space, crossing the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind from the Sun slows down and merges with the interstellar medium. After accomplishing its initial mission, Voyager 1 continued its journey, venturing into the unknown, crossing the heliopause, and entering interstellar space. Communicating across vast cosmic distances is no easy feat, but Voyager 1 has been doing it for decades. Imagine trying to have a conversation with someone who's almost 14 billion miles away. That's roughly the distance from your favorite coffee shop to, well, outside our solar system. And yet, that's the challenge NASA faces when they communicate with Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object from Earth. The most significant hurdle in long-distance space communication is the time delay. When Voyager 1 sends a message to Earth, it takes over 21 hours for that message to reach us, and then another 21 hours for our response to get back to Voyager 1. That's a 42-hour round trip for a single exchange of information. Imagine having a conversation where you have to wait nearly two days to get a response to your question. Another challenge is signal strength. The farther away Voyager 1 gets, the weaker the signal becomes. To overcome this, NASA utilizes the Deep Space Network, a global network of gigantic radio antennas, to catch Voyager's faint whispers from the abyss of space. Because the signal is so weak, these antennas have to be incredibly sensitive. They're so sensitive, in fact, that they can pick up a signal that's a billion times weaker than a watch battery. But perhaps the biggest triumph is that Voyager 1 is still functioning after all these years. Launched in 1977, it's been operating for over 46 years. That's longer than many of us have been alive, and it's still sending back valuable data, still helping us learn more about our universe. Despite the challenges, the vast distances, the time delays, the weak signals, Voyager 1 continues to communicate. It's a testament to the ingenuity and persistence of the teams at NASA 
who keep this conversation going, who keep listening to this lone voyager as it sails further into the cosmic ocean. Despite the odds, the communication link with Voyager 1 has endured, a testament to human ingenuity and persistence. Recently, Voyager 1 made headlines once again, reminding us of its incredible journey. After sailing through the cosmic seas for nearly five decades, this resilient spacecraft has once again managed to send back readable data from the depths of interstellar space. As it ventures farther from our home planet than any other object crafted by human hands, Voyager 1 continues to astound us with its ability to communicate across the vast expanse of space. The recent transmission of data is nothing short of a technological marvel. Just imagine this spacecraft, launched in the late 70s, is still functioning and transmitting information over a distance that would take light, the fastest thing known to us, over 20 hours to travel. The data sent by Voyager 1 offers us a unique glimpse into a region of space that remains largely unexplored and mysterious. Each bit of information it sends back is like a piece of a cosmic puzzle, helping us unravel the enigma of the interstellar medium, the vast sea of space that lies between the stars. But what does this recent event mean for our understanding of interstellar space? Well, it reinforces the fact that space is not just an empty void. The data from Voyager 1 gives us insights into the density and temperature of the interstellar medium, as well as the cosmic ray environment of this distant region. Moreover, this event is a testament to the longevity and robustness of human engineering. Despite the harsh conditions of space and the immense distance from Earth, Voyager 1 continues to operate and communicate with us. It's a testament to our human desire to explore, to understand, to push beyond our boundaries and venture into the unknown. As Voyager 1 continues its journey, we can only wait with bated breath for the next bit of data it sends our way. Each transmission is a reminder of our small but significant place in the vast cosmos. Voyager 1 continues to push the boundaries of human exploration, sending us invaluable data from a region of space that no man-made object has ever reached before. Voyager 1's journey is a testament to human curiosity and our desire to explore the universe. This spacecraft, a marvel of engineering and scientific achievement, has been navigating the vast expanse of space for decades, tirelessly sending us invaluable data from the edge of our solar system and beyond. Its recent success in transmitting readable data once again, despite being billions of miles away from Earth, is not just a technological triumph, but a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Each bite of data Voyager 1 sends us is a new piece of the cosmic puzzle, enabling us to learn more about the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. As we reflect on this monumental achievement, we can't help but ponder on the future of space exploration. With the pace of technological advancement accelerating, one can only imagine what the next few decades might hold. Perhaps we'll send more voyagers into the depths of space, or maybe we'll even set foot on distant planets. As we continue to reach for the stars, Voyager 1 reminds us of how far we've come and how much further we have yet to go.